Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a very positive energy. This is an energy of emotional fulfillment, a wish fulfillment as well. It's like you're finally getting what you want. It's like um, some sort of a wish is coming true here. You're feeling quite satisfied with your love life. Um, there is this energy of contentment and also self-love, um, pouring into your own cup and feeling quite um, whole within. It's like this happiness this joy this performance is being generated from within and um, it is showing to other people as well so this is a very attractive energy to be in as well as a good energy to manifest from so i do see some sort of manifestation or wish is coming true here for you okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this sagittarius so we have the king of wands in the reverse fire energy next you have the seven of wands fire energy and finally, we have the Three of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so with the Three of Wands, again, we're seeing that energy of, um, you know, a manifestation coming to fruition. Um, something you've been patiently waiting for or hoping for. Um, your ships are finally coming in. Um, and there's this energy of feeling quite optimistic and hopeful. Um, they, this could be someone, um, you know, coming back to you. Um, there could be distance involved, a long distance situation or travel, um, but it doesn't have to be. But there is this energy of someone returning to you or a mess returning a message to you or you hearing back some sort of news here. And whatever this news is, it's, it's definitely giving you this feeling of contentment. It's like it's, it's satisfying to find out this news. Um, with the seven of ones, it could be helping you to feel um, at peace, um, feel a sense of balance. Um, you could have dealt here with someone who was um, with the king of wands in the reverse we are seeing someone who can be a bit arrogant um, someone who is um, a bit pushy as well it's like they want their way um, someone who is um, you know a bit domineering in some way um, but I see you protecting yourself from this person or you being protected from this person um, you could be getting some sort of news from this person or about this person and it's going to feel satisfying in some way for you it's it's like you're feeling like a win for you or you've avoided something so let's clarify these cards um sagittarius So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So again, this is an energy of someone who's reaching out, someone who is coming towards you with a message, some sort of news. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the King of Wands again, and this time it's in the upright, Fire Energy. Next, you have the Two of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Emperor Aries energy. 
Okay, so there is definitely an energy of you hearing from someone here. You're, you're, someone is definitely coming towards you or reaching out to you. And um, whatever this is, it's like you guys are going to be able to hash something out. Um, there is this energy of someone not being able to approach you with this King of Wands in the reverse energy. Um, this could be you being guarded towards this person. But for some reason, this person is switching up their approach when they um, are interacting with you. There's this energy of you having been used to dealing with this person as you know an arrogant person or this person could have just been very representative of a king of wands in the reverse type of energy but something about your your energy you could be coming across as defensive or protected um but it causes this person to switch up their approach you know whereas they they they're approaching you more so in the upright instead of the reverse um and i, I do see this as um this isn't something that they had intended, but something about reaching out to you switches their um, approach. And with the King of Wands being in the upright, it's like, this is someone who you can work with. You can they, They're cooperating. They are humbled when they approach you. Um, this could be something you say to this person, but it's like this person, it's like they realize that they can't come at you with the negative energy and we do see some sort of a uh, heart-to-heart -heart conversation taking place with the two of cups you and this person will be able to hash things out something here about you guys being able to um get on the same page and discuss openly and honestly um is something to do with your feelings with the two of cups and we do see you guys um it's almost like making a truce or getting some sort of um mutually beneficial outcome here with the two of cups um so it's like someone coming towards you wanting to fight but it's like it, it ends in in a truce or a peaceful um outcome a win-win situation and with the emperor again we're seeing that energy of you coming out feeling empowered from this encounter so it's like this person they don't have power of you um this person has respect for you this person um, you know, they know how they're supposed to approach you. They are looking at you as this emperor energy. And it's like, they can't touch that energy. You know, they can't mess with you. So it does look like you're, you're protected in some way. This could be you being defen um, defensive or guarded in some way. But this person, it's almost like they feel intimidated by you. Um, in a way where they feel like they need to come correct and be respectful when they approach you. And I do see them doing this. And as a result, you guys have some sort of fair heart to heart. And um, I'm seeing um, a, an outcome that makes you satisfied with the Nine of Cups here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, um, Sagittarius. So the card says, a time for healing, balsamic moon. Okay, so I, I do see you guys are going to get some sort of outcome that makes you feel like the situation is healing itself or that you can now heal from the situation completely. Um, there's just this energy of um, calming something that was previously destructive, you know, having that more calmed outcome. Um, something about you is humbling this person is what I'm seeing. So they, this person definitely feels humbled by you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so this with this energy, we are seeing someone taking accountability, um, almost like repenting for something. So this person could be apologetic as well when they approach you. But there is this energy of you guys coming to a mutually um, a mutual agreement. This could also be forgiveness. Um, someone here apologizing, opening up, being genuine, um, not um, operating from a place of ego, but rather from the heart, um, being vulnerable with you. And this is allowing this situation to heal. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So 
the card says primrose youth for love if i had a single flower for every time i think of you i could walk forever in my garden okay so this is energy here of um you dealing with someone who is this person does have feelings for you i do see someone who cares for you um but there is also this energy of them having operated very much from the ego in the past or from a, a more immature place as well with this youthful energy and the page of wands here as well um but this is definitely somebody who it's like with the two of cups there is feelings coming from this person towards you um they do have love for you and they do actually want to hash things out is what it's like this person is going to realize this after reaching out to you that they actually wants to work things out with you that they do want to operate more from the heart space instead of the ego okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius